everyone. I wanted to share another swap with you that I'm doing over at Mass. It's for an itty bitty mini book swap. And the theme for the swap was travel. I made two books for the swap and I used two of my favorite paper collections. This one I used Teresa Collins World Traveler. And this is what it looks like. And I really like the papers in this pack. I love the colors. And then this one back here, I used My Mind's Eye, the Bramble Rose. Again, love this paper pack. I love the colors. It reminds me of a vintage, beachy, shabby chic cottage feel to it. And I just love the colors and the patterns. I find myself buying more 6x6 paper packs than 12x12. 12 12. It seems like, I don't know, I use um, the 6x6 more and a lot of the projects I'm doing, um, the 6x6 is a really good size and it seems to be less wasteful, at least for me. Okay, and then the pages and the cover of the book are made out of two dies from Stampin' Up. The first one is um, the scallop envelope die. And this is what it looks like. And actually this is what, the envelope that it makes. So this is the page, the pages in my book. And then I just cut out this part for the cover out of chipboard. And then for the inserts, the tags for the book is using another Stampin' Up! die. And it's called Two Tag Die. And this is what it looks like. And I use this one. So here's one of the tags from the book. When you use, um, use the die, it already comes pre-scored. And then it has this slit in it. And then it just tucks underneath that lip. I used the round tab punch from Stampin' Up! So you have a place on the back, the front, and inside for journaling or uh, photos. So that fits very nicely inside uh, each envelope. Okay, now I'll show you what the insides of the books look like. This is the front cover, this one, and how this one is being held together. I have a chain and then I have a little garment pig that goes through the eyelet with um, this little journey charm. And then I used my cinch to bind it. I just have some red lace and black ribbon. I have a felt flower, a key, and then I have a little wood veneer plain. On the inside, I just have like a journaling tag. This is one of the envelopes made from paper that reminds me of leather. And then inside, I have some extra journaling spots. And then this just uh, fits behind that journaling tag. It's just extra journal tags and photo mats. And then this is how the tag fits in the envelope. So it fits in there pretty nice. And then this tag is uh, just tucks behind the buttons. They can put a picture over here and then some journaling. Then I have a stamp that I used on the front of this one for some journaling. Here I just put a little brown bag. They can tuck little goodies in there. This is just a little burlap photo mat. I made this bottle cap. I just cut some paper out and used crystal effects. And it just tucks behind there. And then 
another little envelope. And then another little journal spot. And this is the back of the book. And there's the front. The other one is held together with some ribbon. And then I have a little um, Tim Holtz buckle that I'll feed the ribbon through. And then the front of this one, I just have some flowers, some wood veneers, a bird, a little bike, a little metal embellishment that says adventure, and then just some lace. This book is made the same way. For this envelope, I just ran some um, packaging plastic through the envelope template and then I embossed it with an embossing folder. Again, I just have some extra journal tags in there and then the tag I showed you earlier fits behind here. This comes out. They put photos over here. They just have a bag that I stamped on. A little saying by Tim Holtz. One of his rubber stamps. have just like this little embellishment that says life is good that I used instead of the round um, punch I just use that as the pull tag and then another little envelope oh, sorry I'm trying to film this with one hand with my iPhone. I really need to get a camera so I can use both hands when filming. It's a little tricky filming with one hand. <laughs> so here's the back. Again, here's the front, this one. And then this one. All right, thank you for watching. Bye.